Hi, welcome back to Carp Interest. I am at the Blue Belt Lakes Complex today on Kingfisher Lake. I am on peg 22. Uh, not feeling me full of confidence at the moment. I'm limited to five wraps, which isn't too far, but there was only this peg and another peg in the corner to choose from. And the peg on the other side of the corner had like a 22 foot hole, which I didn't really fancy. So I've jumped into this peg because I do want to catch a Kingfisher Beauty, but I'm not going to catch one of those on another lake or another complex. So I've made the decision just to jump in this peg and see if I can make anything work. I'm set back from the bank, I'm going to try and keep it nice and quiet. Now I'm only five wraps out, a bit of boilie over the top, I've got two booms and one solid bag. But as for now, I'm just going to sit back down, type some more solid bags, type up more couple of rigs, and I'm going to get a little bit of a chill on. Quick morning update. Since late last night, early this morning, I've had wind pumping into this side of the lake, just into this corner. And uh, I know I said I've only got five wraps and I don't feel confident, but with this wind, I'm starting to feel a bit more optimistic. The wind's quite warm, so it's a good sign at the moment. I've got a little bit of a baited spot out at five wraps with three rods across it, two pop-ups and one solid bag, like I've said. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot more confident than I was yesterday. And I'm just hoping I can get amongst some of them Kingfisher beauties. So I'm just going to smash some of these brioche rolls whilst watching the water and hopefully I can see some fish moving in. So my rods have been at the water about an hour now. Um, I'm doing this challenge with my friend where we're doing 5k a day in October, every day. So as much as I didn't want to do it, I had to go and get it done. So I reeled the rods in and uh, ran myself around the complex and then back down the road. Uh, finished that, went for a shower, and now I'm back. Just put some new baits together, so just showing you the method I'm gonna use. This is just a simple one on one rod, a normal solid bag, Gemini Tidy stem. And then on my other two, I'm gonna go with the Gemini Tidy Boom, nine inch Ronnie Rig, uh, Parker Baits, washed out pink pop-up, OG fruit and nut. I'm gonna put them all in the same line where I've seen a few fish show close in, and I'll leave them out overnight and hope the wind's pushed them into this bay. Number two. Ah, oh, come on the carpet gods. So the rain's just started to come in now. It's quite nice actually, now the wind stopped. The alarm just kept beeping, weed was getting tangled in my line. Big stormy, windy weather, a bit of rain, and then a big fish. Well, that's like the carp fairy tale anyway. Let's hope it's true. I know it's raining, but we've got to get some of that OG fish over the spot. I'm only uh, not too far out, so I can throw it. Smells amazing. Oh, get me back in here. Woo! Sometimes I wonder where this confidence comes from because I'm not that guy. But, you know, the rod does go off. Got to have a net there ready, ain't ya? So, a mooring has just flew past and caught his little twiggy leg on my solid bag rod and my alarm went off and I heard some line come off the reel. So I'm sitting there thinking, nah, it should be all right. But then another part of me is thinking, let's just tie up another one and get it back out there. What would you do as an angler? Are you, are you an angler that sits there and thinks, nah, it didn't move, I'm confident with it, or are you an angler that is in this situation and has to tie a new bag up? or put a new bag out. 
comment below. Be interesting to see how many anglers would let it slide and how many wouldn't. Let's get this solid bag in that was moved. What an absolute great decision to change a solid bag just before a rainstorm. Once we get a break in this rain, I'm gonna get that solid bag back out, but I'm gonna use some of the Parker Bates flat spot. Just see if that can give me the edge and get me one on the bank. Right, this is gonna be operation, get the bag out fast because it's, it's gonna, I've looked at the forecast and it keeps extending, extending. Now it's seven o'clock and it'll be dark by then. So I'm just gonna put some flat spot in it now and then quickly run down there and just cast it out. Probably not gonna work, but we'll try. Oh no, I now what am I stuck on? Didn't need this. Oh mate, I'm having a mare. quite good to be fair. I can't grumble at that. Yep, nice flat spot already. So my 48 hour session here at Kingfisher Lake is coming to an end. My ticket is till about 2pm but I've got to get off early this morning as I've got plans today. But uh, yeah, it's it's been, it's been a tough one to take but you know I kind of expected it on a lay like this you kind of wait around for that one special fish but uh, I will be back uh, I do want to persist I do want another unit out of this lake and I want one of the big 40 commons so I will be back we'll be back but if you are liking the videos guys make sure you're liking and subscribing and I'll see you on the next one